Hey there, I'm Derek, Children's Pastor at Lakewood Christian Center. And I want to show you how to do the puzzled world. I just invented the name right there. That's a pretty cool name. Alright, so to do this trick you need a Rubik's Cube and you need Jesus in the air. So, okay, not really. Uh, the way this trick actually works is you have a Rubik's Cube and this is actually um, marketed in, on magic websites as the Enchanted Cube. Anyway, uh, so you can buy an Enchanted Cube, and I believe they run for about $40. Um, or you can make your own, and all you have to do is have one side like this. You get the five, the middle, the, and the corners where they're matching, and then the four where they're not matching. And so, what you want to do is create a pattern that you uns that you scramble it, and then you pattern it back so that you descramble, so to speak, while you're talking. And what I've done, because I have messed this up so many times, I've tried to do it. I'll mess it up because I'll be like, okay, I memorize this, 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 this move, and then I'll just mess it up. So I added this box into the routine because I have a cheat sheet in the top of the box because I've messed it up so many times and what I do is I follow my cheat sheet to, uh, to know what to do and what I do is I, I have a blue square here that's up and that's what this says here blue up it blew up okay <laughs> a really silly mood apparently anyway so then I've got uh, markers that show which direction I turn and then all I have to do to undo it is do this in reverse. And so all I do is I set it down and I do them in reverse. Now my pattern is blue to top, so blue is on top. My pattern is this side goes up, this side goes down, this side goes to the left, this, the back goes to the right. Then essentially all I'm doing is now is I'm going to turn the middle piece, but what you have to do to do that is turn the top and turn the top. So now we have pretty much an undisputed mixed up cube. You can show this all around and it's definitely mixed up. You're not going to be able to fix this in any small amount of time, even if you know how to do it. So you pull this out and you want to put it right back in the box if you're going to use a box the exact same way you just finished. So when mine finishes, there's actually a white on top, not a blue anymore. And I put it in the same way, and I put this cheat sheet on top of it so that when I pull off the cheat sheet, all I have to do is turn it like this, and I know, okay, this is the right direction. Everything's the right direction, and I know I can pull it out, and then I turn the bottom and the top, and it still looks kind of messed up. You can see there's two same stripes, but that's that can happen. And then you kind of look at it, you'll turn it around, you're trying to figure it out, and then I do this in reverse. And in reverse, this has to go. I don't want to mess this up. This has to go this way. And you can kind of look at the cube. You can kind of cheat and look at the cube. So we've got green here. I want green here. So now we have a full and a full. You do not, once you're to this point, you do not want to do this or this because you're going to show that the cube is actually getting complete. So don't do that. Keep it like this. And I like to, at this point, I like to turn the cube down so that this is my, you see my orange? This is my spot, this is my side that does not finish. So I want my side that does not finish pointed towards the audience. So I turn that to the audience. I got two orange pieces here, so those turn down. And I know I got two orange pieces here because what I'm seeing is red, red. So then I can turn this down. And now to anybody looking there, all they're seeing is that it's still mixed up. So at this point, what you do not want to do is tilt in any direction because you're going to give it away. You want to keep it just like this. I have often put this in my hands like this. If I'm, at an, if I'm at on a stage, I'll put it in my hands like this and I'll kind of show it like that. Is this mixed up? And then to make it change, all you're going to do is toss it up and make sure to catch it with this side down. So up, and now it's fixed. And you can spin that all the way around. It's all fixed, but what you do not want to do is this. 
You could do this, like you're showing it. You could even do, this is why I didn't do this, because it takes too long to try. You could do something like this, where you can see the orange pieces. Anyway, so you don't want to show that that's not done. And um, just as a, uh, as a reason I'm doing this is at the end, that's pretty much it. That's how you do the trick. It's simple as long as you can get one of these. Um, so if you get the Enchanted Cube and you pay for that, you'll get this. But you could also go a little cheaper by buying two Rubik's Cubes, which are about $10 a piece, break it apart, and then put, it, put the, each of them back together again so that each one has slightly misaligned pieces. Or another way to do it is to buy one Rubik's Cube and buy replacement stickers from the Rubik's website and then switch out some of the stickers. So you can do that. And then, of course, it's always good to have a, a full put together Rubik's Cube to hand out to somebody afterwards. What I've done in the past, I don't actually have mine right now, but what I would do in the past is I, when I was done with the trick, I'd put this in the box and put it away. And I'd get some, somebody in the audience to be like, hey, let me see that. And then you pull out a second one, same box, well, similar box, same box, whatever. And then you pull out an actual Rubik's Cube that's all together, and you can hand that out. And uh, that's pretty much it. Enjoy it, guys.